So oh, yes, just this afternoon, an FDA advisory committee voted to approve that Pfizer vaccine for kids ages 5 to 11. But keep in mind, it's not a done deal yet. This is essentially step one in what would be a four step process. Up next, the FDA itself would have to review the recommendation. It would likely issue an emergency use authorization for the Pfizer vaccine for kids. And then CDC will conduct its own review next Tuesday and Wednesday. That's an independent panel. The CDC director is then going to issue a recommendation. Meantime, we are hearing from providers in the Charlotte area that vaccinations for children could begin as early as November 4th. And while not all parents are on board with getting their children vaccinated, those who say it's the right move for their family are counting down the days. And new at 6, WCNC Charlotte's Kendall Moore spoke with a local parent who intends to get that vaccine for his kids as soon as it's available. An FDA committee giving the green light for Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine to be used in children ages 5 to 11. I think we're at a point where you know, we trust the science and my sister's a doctor and um, all indications we've had is that the vaccine is safe. Trey Walters says he plans for his two soon to be 11 year old twins to be some of the first in line for the pediatric vaccine. It's more a matter of we don't necessarily where, know where other people have been. And so if it's a uh, seemingly a simple thing to get a shot, even though they may not like it, <laughs> um, I think they get the, you know, the bigger picture of it all too. Um, protect themselves and allow them to kind of keep doing things they like to do. According to a recent poll, 34% of parents say they will vaccinate their 5 to 11 year old child right away if it is available. StarMed Healthcare says it already has about 3,000 pediatric vaccine appointments booked if approved. You're going to have a subset of the population that's going to rush, same way it was early on with the vaccines for adults. You're going to have a larger subset that's going to be in the middle that's going to wait to see what happens. And then there's going to be that small subset that unfortunately does not want their kids vaccinated. Kids under the age of 18 make up nearly 27% of new COVID cases in Mecklenburg County, according to the latest data. If we want them to stay in school, if we want them to be safe, if we don't want to bring this home to grandma during Christmas, that's the way to do it. Get vaccinated and keep everyone safe. Healthcare providers across the county watching the approval process closely and preparing to administer the pediatric vaccine if recommended. In Charlotte, Kendall Morris, WCNC Charlotte. And we're also learning a second vaccine option for kids could be coming soon. Moderna says it has found a half dose of its vaccine generates a strong immune response in six to 11 year olds. Early research showing vaccinated kids developed virus fighting antibodies similar to those levels in young adults who got the full strength shots. Moderna plans to submit the results of this study to the FDA.